Welcome back to John's Films. Today we have a target of a one minute tutorial. Let's go. So typically when you're looking at this, you could create some interest in it by using the dynamic zoom. Now, nobody uses linear zoom, so we can use ease in and ease out. That means it goes in slow, speeds up, and then slows down again as it gets closer to the goal. That's great, but what if you'd like to customize this a little bit so that the zoom goes at an even faster, steeper, or different rate? We don't really have the ability with this control, so what we can do is create our own zoom. Well, hey, that's great. I know how to do that. I put a keyframe at the beginning, keyframe at the end, and I zoom all the way in as far as I want to zoom in, and there we go. That should be great, right? Well, again, we're looking at just a linear zoom. How do we do that? How do we change it? What you can do is hit the Bezier curve right here, and this drops you down to where you have the ability to tweak any of these points. And I'm going to click on them and then change the type of point to be one with a curve associated with it. Once I do that, I can grab the handles and change the pitch of this curve, making it last longer, shorter, etc. So here what I'm going to do is show you I've now adopted a new curve, a new rate of change, a rate of zoom based on my Bezier curve where it starts slower and then it starts to zoom back in. So it actually started to zoom out because I took the line below even. And now it's going to zoom in a little faster and slow down here at the end. All right, remember you can do that with cropping or any of these other attributes on the right. If this was helpful to you, please subscribe and click like so others can find this video. Otherwise, have a great day.